Now, on the hottest day of the year, I've decided to give you a big quiz to do and finish off doing the quizzes for now because they don't seem to have in, uh, many views, these videos, for some reason. I don't know whether you like them or not. So anyway, I'm going to give you 10 final questions to have a go at. So, here we go. Question number one. What is the average O2 readings in outside air? Did you get it? Oxygen readings of 20.9% is our average readings in outside air. Let's try question number two. Now the current standards categorize flu systems with letters and numbers. So what is a type A flu appliance? Did you get it? Type A is actually flueless. Type B is open fluid and type C is room sealed if you didn't know. Anyway, let's have a go at question number three. As a standard, what are the ventilation requirements for a DFE fire under 20 kilowatts? Did you get it? 100 centimetres squared is the average amount of ventilation required for a DFE fire. Let's try question number four. When installing a vent for a flueless space heater, how far now, according to the regulations, does this vent need to be away from the flueless space heater? Did you say a meter? Well, it is now. And the reason for this is, if you put them too close to the fire, it can actually keep the ASD on instead of knocking it out if the room becomes vitiated. So, let's try question number five. Nice easy one for you. What is the minimum cross-sectional area of the equal potential bonding at a gas meter? Did you get 10 millimeter cross-sectional area? Well, if you did, you're correct. Let's try question number six. A flu duct outlet when facing a boundary has to be how far away? Did you say 600? Well, if you did, you're correct. Let's now try question number seven. When using a plume management kit, how far away does the air inlet of the flu system need to be away from an opening within a building? 150? Well, if you said that, you're correct. Let's try question number eight. According to iGEM G11, the unsafe situations procedure, how would you categorize a condensing boiler that fails its flue gas analyzer readings? Did you say ID? Well, then you'd be wrong because a flueless appliance failing its um, flue gas analyzer readings is ID but a room sealed appliance failing its flue gas analyzer readings is at risk. Let's try question number nine. What is the minimum void volume for an unlined masonry chimney when a gas fire is connected to it? In decimeters cubed. Did you say 12? then you're correct if you said 12. Let's have a look at the final one, question number 10. When purging a G4 gas meter with pipework less than 28 millimeters, your first reading on your gas meter is 1.111. What would your reading be at the gas meter once you've completed the purge volume? Did you say 1.121? Then you will be correct. 
because you must pass 10 decimeters cubed or 0 0.01 meters cubed. So that is these last 10 questions I'm going to be giving you for now. If you do want me to continue with them, put down in the comments down below, but the amount of views I'm getting on the videos, it doesn't seem like you're interested. But anyway, if you are, give us that old thumbs up and let us know in the comments. And don't forget to tell me your scores. I'm interested. Also, I'll put links down below for all the other quizzes I've done over the last week while my laptop's been broken. And finally, my laptop is back. I haven't got any time to do any videos like, but it is back. So, catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.